Hello friends, uh, we are going to learn how to uh, use autofocus and get accurate autofocus from day one on uh, Nikon D5600 camera. Uh, in my earlier tutorials, uh, I have, uh, exp uh, I have uh, explained how to go through and have a quick start of Nikon D5600 camera. This is a very versatile camera even in this uh, year 2021 it still holds uh, 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 value for money okay it has got uh, various features very sharp five frames per second photography it can take right and at the same time it we can also shoot uh, full hd videos uh, 60 uh, 60 frames per second maximum okay uh, of course uh, 4k videos uh, are now uh, a common feature but uh, still uh, with the limited processing power available with individuals uh, on their uh, uh, pcs okay still they are not in very common practice uh, the content on 4k is uh, quite limited uh, so uh, considering that fact full hd uh, is quite promising for uh, uh, beginners and uh, uh, maybe for the enthusiast or amateurs okay uh, those who are not into very professional uh, kind of work but uh, do it for their hobby or of out of their interest for personal uh, video collection and so on okay and so also photography so in this case a uh, lot of times uh, even i have been using this camera for quite uh, some time maybe four or five years but it took me quite long to realize uh, that uh, how to set the camera for accurate autofocus there are various modes of autofocus right so we are going to consider two of them uh, the most important the one which is commonly used by a lot many people and the other one which will give you accurate focusing from day one itself <coughs> so before we start uh, we must uh, take note uh, that uh, we would like to do some initial uh, check on the camera okay First of all, this uh, mode selection dial, right? Uh, we have to select proper mode, maybe depending upon the uh, practice. Uh, after some experience, uh, people are able to work with manual mode, maybe aperture priority, shutter priority, program mode, okay? Or those who are beginners, as I explained in the other video, they can work with the auto mode, okay? Even the scene mode where we can select the scene, okay? Like that. So. Uh, any any one we can select and uh, we'll test the autofocus in that particular mode in my case i am choosing manual mode uh, so manual mode requires certain care and some experience as per as setting the shutter speed aperture and uh, iso settings okay but in auto mode automatically those things are taken care that is the first thing that uh, we must uh, look at it then secondly uh, uh, I'm using that same lens which I, you, I demonstrated in the other video. It's a 18, 15, 18 200 okay, lens, and uh, uh, this one uh, is an autofocus lens. Most of the lenses in the DX format camera, it's a quite a big lineup. They are autofocus type, so it has got an inbuilt motor, which because the camera doesn't have the focusing motor inside it. So if you are using older lens which does not have a motor, so camera body will not be able to provide autofocus uh, on that okay so that is the second thing that we must learn that this should be an autofocus type of lens afs lens yes. okay so as it shows that is it's a servo motor is there inside next is that uh, we would like to uh, check so first one is the mode second is the lens which you are using it should have autofocus type lens right so this is 18 200 millimeter uh, and this is a AFS Nikkor lens, DX format lens for this camera. It's, it's a DX format. Okay, and then this lens uh, will have uh, a switch like this, where it is written M oblique A and then M. M means manual focusing. M oblique A means autofocus with manual override. So this is a, M oblique A is actually autofocus. Okay, so this uh, this particular switch you can see here this should be set to auto this should be set to auto other than this uh, there may be some vibration reduction option in some lenses it may not be available in this case it is there so i keep vibration reduction in the on state okay 
and then whether it should be normal or active so i'm keeping it on normal servo auto focus okay so these options may not be available on all the lenses this being a <coughs> telephoto zoom lens that's why uh, or medium range zoom lens so it has got these options but most important is this one auto focus m oblique a so we keep it on m oblique a and then the other one is manual m so keep it on m oblique a okay uh, then uh, these two so three things are done okay uh, then <coughs> apart from that uh, we must uh, know uh, that uh, the the camera it has got uh, certain user interface isn't it so this one okay uh, it's a touch screen lcd flip screen touch screen is there so we are able to adjust the various settings uh, from this particular menu by directly touching it right so those settings uh, will be explained in this videos uh, uh, in th through this video and you will be able to realize how to adjust uh, but please remember that auto focusing on these uh, dslr cameras is most accurate and fastest when we use the viewfinder for uh, looking towards the subject and then inside the viewfinder uh, there is some uh, display which guides us regarding which point is focused and it uh, this is best way the fastest auto focus uh, result is obtained by taking photograph by viewing through the viewfinder rather than the live view okay earlier in the video I have, uh, earlier video i have explained that we uh, the beginners will find it convenient to use live view okay but live view the focusing is very slow as compared to the uh, direct uh, focusing uh, going through the viewfinder okay <coughs> So that is the point now adjustment on this uh, particular lcd screen okay there are various parameters okay so shutter speed and all this are there so when you are when you are shooting in the manual mode like i am doing I, I have to have a good judgment of what kind of settings are there for the shutter speed aperture and iso setting depending upon the lighting conditions so here you can see there is a light meter indicated on the exposure it shows exposure okay uh, this exposure should not be uh, too much on the negative side neither on the positive side positive side means overexposed and negative side is so the underexposed okay so of course uh, if you don't want to go into all this then auto mode is the best right otherwise uh, you uh, after you judge uh, you are able to understand you will be able to set this okay and uh, of course for manipulating this uh, we can always uh, touch here you can see i or maybe press this button i isn't it so it gives us various options how to manipulate let us say i want to go on this particular so touch screen i can select some options here isn't it once it is done then again i'll put back okay okay here also i can use completely then i can set the size of the image right then other factors so in this video you are going to use uh, this particular user interface which you can enable by pressing i okay or maybe just by touching here at the bottom is written i so it, it gives the info and then directly you can touch on the various parameters and you will be able to set it okay so uh, let us uh, go through this video and in this video i am going to show two uh, two types of auto focusing mode one uh, which is uh, a auto focus area mode and the other one is the precise the more accurate one which gives you accurate result of focusing every time with a sharp focus from day one okay so that is a uh, single point for out of focus mode with a point selection in the let us uh, go through the various uh, settings uh, that needs to be done before uh, we start uh, taking uh, clear and accurately focused uh, photographs please remember that this uh, video is about uh, photography and not about a videography so auto focus is for taking sharper images every time right so uh, uh, first uh, we have to ensure that uh, the uh, touch point uh, focus selection is enabled uh, on the camera so for that uh, we have to move to the custom settings menu right and within custom settings menu uh, we have to move down all the way and uh, look for the controls uh, option down at the bottom you can see 
so we select controls option and within controls option uh, there are four different uh, options available we have to go to the third option indicated here as uh, f3 so we can either do this by directly through the touch screen or through the navigation button on the camera at the back side we select f3 uh, to assign the touch function for focus point selection so we when we click on this various options are given but we choose the very first option that is uh, focus point selection isn't it but of course other functions can be given uh, as per the requirement <coughs> for this purpose we have assigned focus point selection to the touch screen now we uh, move back to the main menu now the next set of settings uh, we have to uh, fix up the quality of image and size of image so we click i button on the touch screen or at the back side of the camera and it will take us to the info and settings panel and we can select the image quality to be fine okay or maybe normal or basic as we move from normal to basic size of the images will reduce and uh, at professional level uh, people may want to go with a raw plus basic or maybe different qualities so it will give both the images raw as well as the jpeg image as output once this is selected we just click ok or click i uh, next we select the size of the images so image size as you can see written here in the center of the menu image size it can be either small medium or large right large means full 24 megapixel images will be uh, generated but we select small for this purpose uh, next we have to select the picture profile so you can see in the second row down below so it is currently set at standard so by default it is on standard we can but we can choose neutral or vivid right or other options like portrait landscape and so on so we keep it on standard itself and uh, click ok the next two settings are very important first one is uh, autofocus uh, mode whether it will the servo autofocus whether it will be a single servo or a continuous servo so we click on autofocus mode written as AFA so various options are there AFA then AFS right so <coughs> AFA means auto mode the camera itself will uh, choose uh, what way the focus works AFS AFC AFS is for static objects stationary objects AFC is for moving objects and lastly manual focus so that we are not interested at present this is auto focus uh, tutorial uh, next very important setting is the area mode for autofocus let us uh, click on this option area mode for the selection various options are there right uh, first one is single point autofocus 9 point autofocus 21 point 39 point autofocus then uh, 3d for moving objects So kindly pay your attention for acquiring accurate autofocus uh, on a DSLR camera or these professional cameras uh, we must learn uh, how to use the shutter release button properly right uh, kindly uh, pay your attention uh, that uh, on the lens actually there are two rings one is a zoom adjustment ring right with which we can uh, zoom into a particular subject which is distant the other one is a focus adjustment ring but this is only for the manual focus adjustment where we are working with the auto focus mode so while holding the lens make sure that we do not hold the focusing ring and it gets displayed while we are taking the photograph always we hold here okay that is one of the points secondly while we are holding here okay uh, please note that uh, with camera switched on right uh, whenever we want to take a photograph we'll be looking through the uh, viewfinder right 
and while looking through the viewfinder we will search for the right subject and try to focus on it so how to do that while looking through the viewfinder we would like to keep our uh, finger on the shutter button okay we are looking through the viewfinder and we keep a finger on the shutter shutter button and press it halfway okay so you can see here something is happening the lens in the lens window indicates that lens is trying to focus okay lens is trying to focus okay it is moving let me just disturb it for the purpose of this video we should not touch the ring during the focusing auto focus mode okay pay attention i am trying to press this shutter switch partly okay and then you focus you add, uh, look here isn't it it will try to adjust the focus it will try to acquire the focus right as it tries to acquire the focus the shutter button partly it is it is not placed fully it is placed partly so while we are pressing this shutter button partly we are also looking through the viewfinder while we are looking through the viewfinder and pressing this shutter button halfway we'll be able to see the focus point of interest and now we have to select which focus point we want to focus on right so pressing this switch halfway looking toward the subject through the viewfinder so i'll just show you i am pressing this shutter button halfway so you can see the display the lcd display info is gone and then while camera is focused and we are looking through the viewfinder this touch screen lcd will act as a focus point selection surface so finger is there on the focus shutter release button partly pressed we are looking through the viewfinder and at the same time our thumb we can move very easily while looking through the viewfinder i can move in this area and select the appropriate focusing point isn't it so i'll select as it is single point focus it will select the right point and as soon as i am convinced that the point is selected shutter release button is already halfway pressed i will simply fully press it and picture will be taken so when we select the area mode you can uh, see that uh, while going uh, viewing through the viewfinder the pressing shutter button halfway the camera selects the auto focus point on itself and uh, it is uh, focusing on the nearest object that is the chair back here wooden chair is visible and uh, when we click the image will be taken irrespective of our choice we may want to focus on the bottle or maybe the flower vase but in the area focus mode the auto focus point selection is done by the camera on itself right <coughs> so as the image is taken uh, a sound will be heard and uh, we can see the sample like this so you can see the chair is in focus while flower vase and the bottle they are out of focus but uh, this is by the camera choice now we move to the single point auto focus where we can choose the point of our interest very important right so we select this uh, in the auto focus area mode that is single point auto focus so then we press okay and again we look through the viewfinder in order to uh, acquire the subject so three same three objects will be available and i am going to show you how to select one of our choice to have meaningful photographs as a result okay <coughs> so the camera is ready and uh, now observe through the viewfinder uh, while pressing while uh, pressing the shutter button halfway i am trying to move the focus point uh, over the bottle right and now i'll be selecting bottle as a point of focus as a point of interest and the image will be taken right and you can see now the bottle it looks to be in sharp focus compared to the other two objects in the picture isn't it so this is what we want sharper images now let me just demonstrate that if i select uh, the chair instead of bottle or the flower vase right so 
uh, by thumb while looking and pressing the shutter button halfway i am selecting uh, the autofocus point to be the chair uh, surface right and i click the image right and show the sample now you can see that the image is now in proper focus uh, i am showing the cropped image in order to have clarity uh, to see now let us uh, move the camera a little bit and try to focus on the flower vase right of course uh, that flower vase was falling uh, on too much of corner so that's why i adjusted the frame now let me click with the flower vase in focus so i am selecting using the touch function touch screen lcd panel and i'll click the image right and clearly you can observe that flower vase is in sharper focus so this is the idea for acquiring the accurate focus every time we work and obtain sharp images of desired objects rather than missing the shot and then taking two three photographs every time then waste uh, then uh, selecting from a set of bunch of photos okay it it will save considerable amount of time and it will make us a better photographer thank you